Hi, welcome to a video tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to learn about this sharp infrared distance meter. We are going to measure the distance using this 1602 LCD with the I2C module. So we are just utilizing the four wires and then three wires from here to measure the distance. Uh, as you can see here, I'm putting this at 12 centimeter and we are measuring 12 centimeter at 10, we are measuring 10 centimeters. You can get the f code for this project by clicking at the link in the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Separate video explaining how to use this for other purposes and also have separate video how to use this without the display. So the link for those will be provided also with if you follow the link in the description and also all the library will be available. You can download with the data sheet and all other information. So the module is very compact here. The module has transmitter and receiver, infrared transmitter and receiver here, and we have three wires. So the red is connected to five volts, the black is connected to the ground. This yellow is the output, and this is a servo type connection. So you can plug in any male wire here to connect it. So the total length of this is 44.5 millimeter. Depth of it is 13.3 millimeter. And this, here we have so many parameters. At this, uh, this level with a screw sets, it's 33.9 millimeter. Here we have 29.4 millimeter. The module that I'm using is GP2Y0A41SK. So this can measure between four to 30 centimeters. We are going to test it and see how it works. So this, this module has four wires, ground, VCC, SDA, and SCL. S, the DA is the data, CL is the clock. So these will be connected accordingly here. So the VCC, so the VCC is connected. This is the VCC connected to five volts. The ground is connected to the ground, and these two wires uh, are, so the clock is connected to A5, and the data DA is, DA is connected to A4. So let me explain the code now. The wire is for I2C communication. It's already built in, you don't need it. But once you download the library, this liquid crystal underscore I2C dot H will work uh, seamlessly. So you have to include that. The link will be provided. And then here we are initializing the object LCD of the type LCD liquid crystal, liquid crystal I2C. This is the address of the module. I have separate video explaining that. So the address of the I2C module, this is number of characters, and the two is the number of uh, lines in that display. From this line that you can see, it says, it says start of sharp I, uh, infrared and then end of sharp infrared. All this is for sharp uh, module. So we define a new uh, constant as A0. This is the signal. Uh, infrared signal that is detected from the module, we connect it to A0. And then 430 is the model of the module that we have. So here, there are some explanation for the four modules. So if your module has this number, so you put this one and so forth. So mine is the, uh, this one, A41SK. So 430, I, I used 430 here. After that, we initialize the pen and the model. So this is as if I type here A0 and I type here 430. So we've defined it there. After that, inside the setup, we just say LCD begin and LCD backlight. We set turn on the backlight and that's done. Then here inside the loop, we clear the LCD, print this text on the screen, and then we set the cursor at 0, 1. So that is the first character, one mean line two, because line one is zero. 
let's go to the second line and then sharp the distance the distance measures the distance in centimeter so dis is a distance and then in order to display it with the text we put the text distance than actual distance in centimeter because there are mixed type of data so we have to convert this which is integer to string so here we say string this this come here so which is a distance will be converted to string and stored in the distance uh, variable and then this distance variable will be displayed here so with, the, with this text in front of it and then centimeter at the end so this is now the w text that we want to display and we say lcd print and then that distance so this will just print it for us and there is a 500 millisecond delay and the loop continues the blink on the screen that you see is due to this 500 millisecond because for the sharp we have to have some waiting so if you want to increase the accuracy of that give this a little time so make it longer which means increase this number but if you want to measure faster if you need it for any other reason reduce this to 300 200 150 whatever so then you will find out at what value you can get the best result uh, depending on your application so i'm testing it now at different distances so now it's as eight centimeters as you can see we we see eight centimeters if i go to six I can see a 6 cm, I'm going to 10 cm, it works fine, and now I'm here at the 15, 14 cm, that's fine. So let's go to uh, 20 cm, uh, 16 cm, that is 16, but if I go to 20 cm, we are getting 21. So that is one of the issues that as the distance increases, we are, we are getting some error because uh, the curve is going towards uh, steady state, it going uh, to settle down and it becomes very uh, sensitive. Now I'm, going putting it, uh, now I'm going to put it at 25 centimeter. We are reading 28 or 29. If I go to 30 centimeter, we are reading 34 so you, accordingly you have to adjust or compensate it or maybe look at the uh, plot of the so the module actually outputs the voltage with relation to the distance as the distance increases the voltage that outputs will be decreased so this is the voltage on the y-axis on the x-axis we have the distance in centimeter as you can see at two centimeter it produces 2.2 and here is the maximum is around 3.5 so it will produce around 3 volts and as the distance increases we go to 5 6 and up to this distance let's say for 30 centimeter we get around 0 0.4 volts this shape is not a regular one to do it so that's why the library will be used but if you want to enter this into excel and then find the equation of this plot then you don't need a library and you can calculate it so definitely this is uh, of a concern so you can choose different model to get different result if you are looking at the uh, longer distances so this was introduction to this infrared distance meter we have a lot of other videos on the codes you, which you can get directly from robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino with the video on the same page. And for this, you can download all the library, the data sheet and the link to the Sharp website, which you can see all other data. Just uh, follow the link at the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Thank you for watching. Please share the video, please thumb up. And also if you have any question, please comment. I will try to answer it.